The passing of the largest bonding bill in Minnesota history includes money for affordable housing. It will help some of the most vulnerable, including the homeless. Reg Chapman spoke with Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan about the bill's impact. The bonding bill is historic when it comes to housing and housing infrastructure bonds. So we had $116 million uh, for housing uh, this year that, that passed. Um, and over the, the course of the last two years, it's $176 million total. So what that means is that uh, there are projects all across the state. Um, so for either new builds or uh, rehabs to make sure that, that we have more access to this affordable housing. Lieutenant Governor Peggy Flanagan says the funding will help house the homeless and make way for affordable housing that is desperately needed. In the black and native community, uh, we have an incredible need. Uh, our home ownership rates are lower, but also for people experiencing homelessness and for our relatives who are sleeping outside, that's in my community and that's in your community. And, um, you know, having uh, more investment uh, will make, uh, make a difference. Flanagan says this is a very important step, but by no way near the investment needed to solve all the housing needs across the state. She does say this bonding bill will create jobs, opportunities she hopes will begin to erase disparities that separate us as Minnesotans. One of the, the best pieces about the bonding bill, we talked about those dollars um, for equity for projects, but also we have equity in bonding policy language too, um, that will require uh, hiring of people of color, indigenous folks and women on these projects, um, percentages relative to the populations in each one of the areas where these projects are occurring. Reg Chapman, WCCO 4 News. And we have a link to the projects funded by the bonding bill on WCCO.com.